Welcome, everyone. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic inspired by a video I recently watched. In that video, someone used a 2x8 regular construction standard lumber for a riser, creating a stairway that looked robust enough to drive a truck up. Now, I wouldn't recommend that, and by the end of this video, you'll understand why. So, let's get started. Here we have a standard stairway, built with three stringers and three foot wide stairs using three quarter inch plywood. Initially, we used five eighths of an inch plywood. Let's remove the tread and riser to examine it from the side. Everything looks straight and perfect. If the lumber hasn't shrunk, you're in luck. Remember, plywood doesn't shrink or expand much, especially if it stays dry. However, conventional lumber like Douglas fir can shrink, and I've seen it happen often. When it does, even with all the adhesive and glue, it can still separate and create that awful squeaking sound that you are trying to avoid by watching this video. This is a significant issue on home building projects using both conventionally framed lumber and plywood. The plywood remains stable, but the conventional lumber can move, especially if it was assembled using wet lumber. Now, let's put the 2 by risers and 3 quarter inch treads back on. Everything looks straight again. Perfect. If it stayed like this, there wouldn't be a problem. But we all know lumber can twist and cup, often creating even more gaps. My point is that it's difficult to mix these materials, but not impossible to build wood framed stairs that will never squeak using them. You're usually just reducing the chances by using dry lumber, adhesive, and screws. Using two materials that move differently can be a waste of money. If you want to build a heavy duty stairway, use inch and an eighth plywood for both risers and treads. My suggestion is to glue or use flexible adhesives to the top of the riser, the stringers, and the back of the tread, then nail it to the stringers. You don't need to nail it to the plywood since it won't move much. This way, you reduce the chances of squeaking. I hope this helps, and if it does, hit the thumbs up button. And thanks for watching. Also, don't forget to visit our website. We have an organized list of our videos there. You might have a difficult time finding that anywhere else.